Our views about China have changed, writes Bridgewater's Ray Dalio to his investors. There are now no safe places to invest. Ray Dalio is very popular among Chinese economists and investors. The Chinese version of Dalio's book, Principles, Life and Work, was a bestseller in China when it debuted in 2018. But now, Ray Dalio is running from the Chinese stock market. China's economic landscape is shifting drastically, and Ray Dalio is sounding the warning siren. From sinking property giant to an economy in dire need of a makeover, join us as we dive into the red flags raised by one of the greats. This isn't just about stocks and numbers, it's about the ripple effect that could reach far beyond borders. It's causing experts to ponder whether certain industries, such as Boeing, should continue their current jet production rates. It also begs the question of whether French wineries should be expanding their vineyard acreage, and if Australian miners truly require such a substantial amount of equipment. These developments in China have implications that reach far beyond its borders, affecting anyone who relies on Chinese demand, both its consumers and producers. Chapter 1. What's Happening? Ray Dalio is raising alarm bells about China as he sells everything related to China because of a financial tsunami brewing in China's economic landscape. Dalio, a powerhouse with approximately $3 billion sunk into Chinese ventures, isn't just another investor sounding an alarm. He's waving a red flag for a reason. The Chinese economy, once a global powerhouse, is facing turbulence that could ripple worldwide. Its foundation is shaking, particularly in the property, banking, tech, and electric vehicle sector, with giant corporations failing to deliver projects, refusing to return deposit money, and plummeting house prices painting a grim picture. The recent bankruptcy following of Evergrande Group only adds to the cacophony of concerns and adds fuel to the fire. Chapter 2. The Debt Issue Legendary investor Dalio, who's got skin in the game as a big-time China enthusiast and investor, isn't mincing words. In a recent LinkedIn post, he emphasized the need for a massive debt restructuring, drawing parallels to China's late 1990s transformation engineered by Zhu Rongji. But this time, Dalio insists, it needs to be much bigger. Deleveraging isn't a walk in the park. China's debt is largely held in domestic currency and owned by its citizens, which could make the process more worrisome. He paints a gloomy picture of what he terms a beautiful deleveraging, a delicate equilibrium between deflationary defaults and inflationary money printing. This, he believes, could alleviate the burden on government, but it will bankrupt the population and put them in object poverty. Printing more money can jumpstart a stagnant economy, particularly in the struggling provincial and impoverished areas, but it will come at a cost to the middle class in China. Ray Dalio's Bridgewater Associates, the behemoth of hedge funds, has made a $1 billion pivot, exiting most of China's tech titans while embracing new prospects. The game is on, and the stakes are high. In a strategic maneuver, Bridgewater decided to cash out its positions in five heavyweight Chinese technology stocks. The list reads like a who's who of the tech scene. Alibaba Group Holding, Billy Billy, NetEase, JD.com, and DD Global. The total haul? A staggering $1.02 billion in just the last quarter. This move comes hot on the heels of regulatory upheaval and growing delisting pressure. The numbers don't lie. Bridgewater's $236 billion hedge fund has made its presence felt by trimming stakes in 32 other Chinese firms, including prominent names like Kyoto Tekedu, Beijing, Hutchmed, Huya, and KE Holdings. The fund seized a market rebound as an opportunity to streamline its portfolio, showcasing shrewd timing. Ray Dalio, the mastermind behind Bridgewater Associates, isn't just hitting the sell button. Dalio is cautiously bullish on the EV sector. Dalio is placing bets on the race to dethrone Tesla. NIO, Xpeng, and Li Auto have caught his eye, with investments worth a combined $188 million. As these challengers make strides, Bridgewater is hitching its wagon to their potential. But, according to my views, Dalio's in for a rude awakening. The EV sector in China is already in trouble. 
In the outskirts of Hangzhou, a Chinese city, there's an unusual sight. A small, rundown temple overlooking a rather unconventional graveyard. This isn't a typical resting place for the departed, though. Instead, it's a field where you'll find a multitude of electric cars left to the mercy of weeds and garbage. This peculiar phenomena isn't unique to Hangzhou. It's cropping up in numerous cities across China. While some places have made efforts to clean up these electric vehicle graveyards, others remain as eerie testaments to the country's evolving relationship with electric transportation. In Hongzhou, for instance, some of these abandoned cars have languished so long that plants are now growing out of their trunks. And curiously, some still have fluffy toys sitting on their dashboards, a poignant reminder of their sudden abandonment. The geopolitical theater adds a layer of complexity. Dalio's recent remarks on the escalating U.S.-China tensions over Taiwan have raised eyebrows. With the so-called conflict gauge soaring to unprecedented levels, the stakes have never been higher. The dynamic between these economic giants has injected an extra dose of uncertainty. Delisting concerns have also entered the fray, putting the spotlight on 271 Chinese companies listed on the U.S. stock exchanges. Names like Alibaba, Hutchmed and Beijing are on the SEC's radar for potential removal due to audit access complications. The cross-strait tensions and regulatory scrutiny are casting their shadows. Amid the shuffle, Bridgewater has also spotted new stars on the horizon. Embracing the electric future, the fund increased its bets on NEO and Xpong by substantial margins. Their growth at 19 and 65 percent, respectively, reflects a bullish outlook. And let's not forget Baidu, surging by 82 percent in Bridgewater's portfolio. Yet, that's just a piece of Bridgewater's vast puzzle. The fund's global equity investments experienced a 4.8 percent decline, valued at $23.6 billion. Now, while Chinese companies played a part, they're just a segment of Bridgewater's broader strategy. In the ever-evolving landscape of finance, Bridgewater's moves serve as a barometer for market sentiment and strategies. My thoughts. So, as we almost end our video, there are a few things worth noting that we can learn from this video. So what stands out to us is the power of adaptability in the financial landscape. Dalio's decision to exit key Chinese tech stocks showcases how even giants pivot to stay ahead. It's a reminder that successful investing involves more than just numbers. It's about foresight, agility, and navigating uncertainties. The interplay between geopolitics and economics is also very evident here. The U.S.-China tensions and the delicate Taiwan situation underscore how global events can reverberate in markets. We're witnessing a complex dance where financial strategies intertwine with international affairs. As Bridgewater reshapes its portfolio, we can all learn lessons in embracing innovation. Their focus on Tesla challengers highlights the importance of staying attuned to industry shifts. It's a reminder that progress waits for no one, and successful investors are those who anticipate change. What do you think about this change in Dalio's portfolio? Feel free to share your thoughts, suggestions, and comments down below, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more informative updates. That's all for today. I'll see you in the next one.